Right, it says, um, we've got functions question here, haven't we? And it says, state the value of x which cannot be included in any domain of f. So, basically, what can't we put into that function um, because it's impossible to calculate? And when you try and divide by zero, it's impossible to calculate. So, therefore, what value of x makes the denominator zero? And that is two. All right, pretty straightforward if I'm honest. Um, and part two, nice and easy, just stick negative four in there, negative four, so you get a half. All right, oops, that wasn't very good of me. I will have another go at that. Two, there we go. Right, so got a half now. Express uh, f to the minus one uh, in the form f of the minus one of x. So that's fine, the inverse. So the way to do this is... I'm going to have to squish it up, I think, at 2 minus x. So multiply through, we've got this equals 3. Expand the brackets, I'm going to have to go up here. So we get 2y minus x, y equals 3. Um, that should be a 2y. Uh, then get the uh, bit that doesn't involve x on the other side. So I should have, in fact, I should have x, y equals 2y minus 3, and then divide, I'm going to have to go all the way over here, okay, we're going to have to get x equals 2y minus 3 over y, so that's fine, but it wants it in terms of x, so I've got to swap the y's, where I see y's, I want to put x, so we get 2x minus 3 over x, oops, not a very good x, there we go. Now it says the function g is defined as uh, g of x equals 2 to the x plus 1 over 3. Express the function fg in the form fg of x equals bloody bloody blah. Simplify your answer. So that means that we're putting g of x, this thing here, into f of x, which is uh, this thing here. All right. So fg of x is going to be... 3 over 2 minus 2x plus 1 over 3. Okay, now I've got to simplify that, so let's put them over a common denominator. We get 6 minus 2x plus... Um, oh, now then, actually, I'm going to do that as a whole... Uh, sorry, right, I'm going to put that there. Now, the reason being... Okay, I've put all that in brackets because, all right, that means I'm going to get 6 minus 2x minus 1 all over 3. Now that's going to equal 9 over 5 minus 2x, which is what my answer is. Now it's because I've got minus 2x and I've got minus 1. Okay, so 9 over 5 minus 2x. Okay, and there you go. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty straightforward. Just remember that if you've got f of g of x, all right, you're putting g into f, as it were. All right, and uh, when it says f to the minus 1 of x, uh, you're finding the inverse, so you're rearranging.